Chase Bibby, Prospector Trip. Savile time. <laughs> model 7280 right there. So 80 amp. I'm thinking about doing is uh, instead of having this long wire that goes to the motor, uh, you know, that long skinny wire, I'm going to put on some big fat heavy wires. And I may even go right to the windings on the motor. But anyway, those wires getting hot. I'm already pulling, uh, you know, a lot of current through those wires. So. This one isn't going to make it any better as far as that point goes. But uh, it's super smooth. These guys are so smooth and they're programmable. If we're up this guy here to see what we got, we should have a nice little uh, SW900 in there also, which is the, the little digital display, which makes it handy because you can keep track of what the heck's going on. Like Sabaton did a great job. So this is your pedal, Gizzy. I don't need because I have no pedals. I will need those though. Connectors. There's a little programmable USB. Right for Bluetooth. CR900. Yeah, that's our display, our SW900 display. Nice big heat sink on it. Now, if it works as well as it as it looks. <laughs> I'm gonna be cooking, baby. Like I said, with the 60 amper, it's getting good and warm. So yeah, this uh, 80 amp, it might uh 25% more might do her. Yeah, that thing looks fantastic though. Let's get to it right now. I think you You got it pretty tight there, Junior. Get it up on a table or something so we can all work on it. Hey, folks, I pull my table up here. Just pull those bolts up. And then this plate hopefully will pull right out. Hey folks, I ended up taking the screws out of this side too. Oh, there it goes. It's an important fact, right? These guys can't be coming loose and getting underway. <laughs> as long as they're not loose. They might be after I put that 80 amp on there. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, okay. Maybe they're fine. Mm hmm. There we are. Now you got to be careful not to bang these wires up too much, right? You don't want to wear a hole in them or anything. Just set it here like that. Temporarily. Cut this one here. I was thinking they came up here, but uh, yeah, they come right up here. This one here's got a break in it. I don't know if you can see that, but right, if you can see that. Yellow wire's got a break in it. Same with the green wire. The green wire does too. Wow. I'm glad I'm doing this. She would have had a fit here pretty soon, probably. This guy here, I'm just gonna cut right about here. Can't get rid of that. Heat shrink. Get our spring out of here. Look, so I'm gonna try and get this wire out of here without wrecking my uh my hall sensor wires i've been able to get a little bit of action here on it oh there it goes hey folks i got it out of there hey folks i i tested this wire here which is 14. it's a little bit it goes in the hole and everything but i don't think i have enough room to fish this back through it yeah, folks, I decided I'm going to drill that thing out a little bit because it's impossible for me to hardly get a bigger wire in there otherwise. Hmm, the first one was pretty easy. Yeah. Let me drill this dude out a little bit more with these bigger ones here and we'll see what happens. Okay, folks, I was able to get that second drill bit through there. Yeah, folks, now that it's drilled out, it, uh, these wires, these 14s go through there quite nice. Which I'd like to get that 14 through there if I could. So you see, I got the three here. I'll go right in there, right? No problem. So thinking these hall wires, I'm gonna heat shrink this on there so they're real tight and small. Hopefully they're smaller than one of those because I'm pretty sure a fourth one will go right through yeah, there. I think it'll go with these 14s now, which uh, I'm happy about. <laughs> yeah, I drilled her out pretty good, so uh, not much, just a little bit, you know. 
just enough where you got a little bit of room. Anyway, I'm gonna try and uh, fish those through there and shrink this down and see what happens. Hey, hopefully these guys come out real nice and tiny. Let's see here. Pretty worthy. Should make it. Hey folks, you can see I've been a little bit bad there. I was doing a little work there and I uh, suddenly realized I better start recording. <laughs> Anyway, all I did is I just soldered these lines that we fed through here, these guys, to the green, blue, and yellow lines. And then after they're soldered, I heat shrunk them on with the little the black heat shrink behind this white stuff. Then I slid on this white protective cloth material and then tied them all down again. Uh, nothing seems to be rubbing or anything, so I think we can assemble the thing. The rest of the way. That's right. Okay, folks, I got it. Of course, she's all not dragging, spins good. And I bolted this side in very squarely and cleanly first. Uh, that way I had a good reference. Once the post came through, this side was square and not uh, slid off to one side. And then this side here, uh, it was quite easy. Once it was in there, just, you know, started the screws and fussed around a little bit and boom, the whole thing went down. And now it uh, was centered properly. So yeah, I recommend putting on the one side first and slide it in that way. That's a lot better. Yeah, that's way better. So I just slid in a piece of heat shrink. It isn't in very far, just a little bit, as far as I could get it. But uh, I'm gonna heat shrink that on there and it's got glue in the inside there and that'll melt on there and hopefully keep my wires from getting chafed up. That's all I can do, baby. <laughs> okay, folks, I got the uh, heat shrink slid onto these guys and uh and shrunk on and i kind of as they were still warm i held them so they're bent kind of upward it's probably not as good as the the metal gizmo but if i'm careful i think i can keep it from uh biting into them i'm gonna go get those uh that other cable i took off with the hall wires and so i can run them up to it but uh yeah looking pretty good everything looks all right this, up to this point Okay, folks, I got it basically bolted on there straight. The brakes work good. Looks relatively centered. Nothing's rubbing. Okay. So now we got to do our wiring. Just flip the bike over and we'll put everything back together here. One by one. One by one, baby. Peace. Folks, I've been scoping out on this thing what I wanted to do with it, uh, how to mount it. You know, there's all kinds of ways you could do it somewhat, but it's got these mounting holes right here in the four corners, right? And so the only convenient spot that I see really that would work pretty well would be right there. And that doesn't look too bad to me. Uh, it uh, won't hit anything, and uh, I can drill and tap some bolt holes right into the frame and bolt that dude right up to it. It looks like it's number six. Ought to do a great job from the speed controller to the phase windings. Gotcha. length I tested it already controllers gonna be underneath there get you the right way here yeah it'll make it just fine yeah folks when I do these connectors like that I like to put them down this way and then push and then pump that dude close and I'll show you here let me pump her close and I'll show you the result that dude is on there, like nobody's business. Yeah, you can pull it off there. If you put it in a vice and probably pulled it with the car. <laughs> you cannot pull it off with your hand. There's no way. Anyway, yeah, it's a really, really good, uh, really good connection when you crimp them on like that. A little hydraulic crimper like that. Yeah, that's right, that thing works good. I did all of my solar in the house, the entire system, with this one little gizmo. Heat shrink on there. Okay, 
can see a tiny bit of glue squirting out there, right? It's, makes a nice connection. Yeah, I'm gonna temporarily hook these guys up here. Yeah, it looks like that'll do it, right? Yeah, that's right. That looks good. See, folks, I got two of them on there. I'm gonna stick this last dude on there, smash it down a little bit. These wires are obviously heavy duty for this. They ain't gonna fit in there, right? <laughs> so I'm gonna tin both of these guys with solder and I'm just gonna solder that dude like that. And hey folks, I think I got it hogtied well enough. And yeah, we'll figure out this side down there. They don't have anything heavy duty like these. That's the right size. So I'm cutting these guys off, folding them over. And then instead of using a uh, six. I'm using an eight uh, size crimper to smash it down real tight like that and I rotate it a couple times to get it really crunched down there. Looks pretty good so that's what I'm doing here. Okay guys, got those things on there pretty good. There's my phase wires. I gotta do my uh, pulse sensor wires. Yep. I'm gonna test it just like that. Before I bolt it all up, I just got to hook up the hall wires and then basically plug it in and then plug in my throttle and my display. And I should be able to play around with it. Well, folks, I'm having some trouble with this controller. I like to use this one because it's an 80 amper. This guy here is a Sabaton also, <laughs> but it's a 200 amper. And it works absolutely perfect. I plugged it all into the exact same things I had on that guy. Boom. I can check the uh, Bluetooth, no problem, with my phone with this phone and uh and of course i can set it all up no problem at all i can see everything and uh anyway i'll show you here there she goes okay i saw a kick there we go okay now we're getting some kickations <laughs> so yeah give it a little bit of gas here yeah i don't want to hit it because this thing's got gigantic power right. for this poor little guy even i put my beefy wires on there right you guys are getting close easy now even if i put those beefy wires straight to the windings of the motor it's uh, still not going to be tough enough to take it right <laughs> so i just hit the gas a little bit it's too fast so anyways let me turn it off before we cause a problem button this thing all up i'm gonna bolt on this 200 amp controller anyway i'll be right to that same spot we'll see you here in a few minutes i just want to play with it a little bit and make sure everything was hunky dory and it is it works perfect i didn't want to use it on this bike but uh I'm going to now, it looks like, for now, until we figure out what's going on with this one. Surprise me, I think come right up and right over. Yeah, that hurt my elbow. Great, we're laying it down here. Hopefully my battery's not too dark dip. Doesn't oh, look so bad. <laughs> my helmet on and my gloves and my elbow pads. And it got hurt. I wouldn't have even got hurt like that. That's right. Wear your safety gear. So folks, as you can see. <laughs> That thing is uh, pretty fast. It's too fast with that 200 amp speed controller. Yeah, that was on setting one. One of five. Yeah, I uh, yeah, I just screwed it on. Screwed it on. Normally, I, uh, when I'm uh, not on video, uh, I'm a little more cautious, I guess, or something, because uh, I had that camera rolling. Man, that thing come up and over so fast. I had no time to hardly think. Yeah, I'm okay. I got a bruise on my butt, I'm sure, and on my elbow. But other than that, I'm pretty good for you, baby. I love you, man.